In GameMaker 2.3, you can use sequences for lots of things. We'll eventually get into some more creative uses for them, but making animations and cutscenes may be more common. Today, I want to show you how to use sequences to create an animated splash screen that displays a logo before your game starts. After it starts, it'll show the animated logo, then it'll proceed to the title screen. So I have a sequence already set up with my logo here. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So it's made up of three tracks, the star logo in the middle, the word arcade, and the word mash. Starting at frame zero, mash and arcade are right next to each other. Starting at frame 40, they start to part. The logo will slowly fade in through color in the center. And then just a few seconds after that, it'll be the end of the animation. This animation is 120 frames long and runs at 30 frames per second, so it should last 4 seconds because 120 divided by 30 is 4, so it should last 4 seconds within the game. Uh, I also put it on a transparent background, and I did it so whatever color the room has as a background, that's what color will be behind the logo here. So in this case, I just made it transparent, so no matter what the room color looks like, it'll look great. Next, we need to create a room for our logo. So by default, GameMaker creates a room here, and it's called Room 1. I'm going to right-click on Room, go to Create, and Room. I'm going to call this um, RM Logo, and this is going to be our logo here. In order to add a sequence to a room, it needs to be on an asset layer. We'll go more into, as uh, into layers another time. But all you have to know is this one right here creates a generic new asset layer. So I'm going to click on this button. And then make sure this layer is selected. And I'm going to click and drag my sequence right onto the room. And I'm going to place that right here, right in the center. Or close to the center. Uh, yeah, that looks good. So Mastercade always has a white background, so I'm going to click on background, and I'm going to click on this color here. I'm going to make it white. So now we have a distinction. So the sequence is set for this logo room right here. And then for the other room, by default, it's got a black background. So we'll consider the black background our game and the white background our logo. So now when we if we were to play the game, um, it would actually start on room one, the game, but we want it to start on this logo. So in GameMaker 2.3, we have something up here called the room order, and this dictates which order um, my rooms run in. Before it was just top to bottom, but now that we have this uh, new and improved resource tree where you know you could create rooms in different orders and assets in different folders, so they had to uh, have a way for the rooms to play in a specific order. So we want the the logo to play before room one. So all I'm going to do up here in room order is click and drag it right up top. Um, so now this logo room will be the first room to play when we start our game. Let's run the game. And I'll try and drag it over in time because I think it'll appear. There it is. Mash Arcade. And the logo plays on a white background. But then notice how it repeats. We need to find a way for the logo room to move into our game room. And we're going to do that through a moment. So let's go back into our sequence. So a moment is added with this button here, and this executes a piece of code on a given frame where the moment is added. So I'm gonna to go to the very last frame in our, in our sequence animation here, which is frame 120. I'm gonna click on this. Now here I'm gonna type in the name of the script. Because I don't have one yet, I need to be able to create one. It's worth noting too, I, normally I would just, you know, room, go to next, but it needs to be a script that doesn't already exist within Game Maker. I need to be able to make my own script and run from there. So I'm going to click on this, add function, because I want to create one, because I haven't yet. When I click on this, uh, it's going to create a new script for me. It's going to say sequence logo moment. It's already been named. And what I want to happen in it is I just want it room go to next. And all this is saying is saying whatever room I'm into, whatever room I'm in, in my room order, I want to go to the next one. So I'm going to be in 
the logo room and I'm going to go to the game room. That's all I'm going to have to happen. So now when I open up my sequence, you can see that on frame 120, the moment's been added right here to execute that piece of script that we've added. It also adds a script right here in our resource tree that has the moment. So we have a reference from the sequence of the logo on 100 frame 120, it's pointing to this function, which will execute when that sequence hits that frame. So it'll play the animation. And when it gets to frame 120, it's going to execute that piece of code, which says go to the next room. So it's going to go from the logo room into the game room. Let's test that out and see what it does. So we've got Mash Arcade, hits frame 120, and goes to the game room. So using this method, we can actually create animated logos that play before our game starts, whether that's a brand, whether that's maybe a publisher, whether you want to give a special message before your game. Any of that can appear with only one line of code, and we did that through a moment in our animated sequence. Hey everyone, Sam from Mash Arcade here. If you like this video, why not check out another? And if you want to keep updated with all my latest videos, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.